Welcome back. We've got some parts in for the van. Let's find out what's happening. So, as I said, uh, if you remember at the end of the last video, we took the injectors out of the van. Absolute nightmare getting them out, but we managed to get them out nonetheless. Result. So, the injectors now, this has blown my mind a little bit. Um, but I use a, at work, we use a local injector company down the road. Now, their prices came in at nearly four times the amount of what I've getting these for off eBay. So I've getting these off eBay from Germany. As I say, a quarter of the price of what I was quoted. They are remanufactured. Um, remanufactured injectors. Now, they've come all nicely packaged up. Granted, it's took a good few days to get here, but they're here nonetheless. And um, they are packaged up. There is a £30 surcharge per injector to send the old ones back obviously my old ones were yeah they were pretty much knackered so there was no point in sending them back but that there as you can see is the injector all ready to go complete with copper washer so what we'll do is we'll start and get these fitted hopefully we're going to get these fitted tonight i don't know how we're going to do because obviously we're getting on um, I wouldn't say winter yet, but we're getting on to winter, um, and light is fading fast. So what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do before we even go into fitting the injectors, once again, because we all know that I love a bit of eBay bargains. I bought this off eBay the other day, just a simple cheap kit for cleaning the injector hole. So we've got a, a brassy brush to go down the hole. An extension to go down with it so you can burr it with a drill and some brushes there to clean the seats. There's also a tiny little thin wire wheel on the end of a on the end of a rod, which I presume is actually for getting in and physically cleaning the actual hole itself. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just I'll just get on. I'm not gonna video it because you'll you'll get bored, but I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll catch up with you. Actually, no, we'll show you the holes first and we'll show you what I'm working with. Let's go and see what they are. As you can see. The holes need a bit of cleaning out. There's a bit of fur going on in them. Um, so yeah, I'll just wang, wang the wire wheel up and do them a few times, get them cleaned up. But in the meantime, check this out. I don't know if you guys can see. I've been very busy with the polishing pads. We're getting the van polished. This side is all just about done. I've literally got um all i've got to do on this side is give it a coat of wax and we've been down this side with the the coarse polish but it's not quite we're not quite there yet we've still got a bit more to go but i mean it's getting there we've got a shine on it now which we never used to have so yeah what i'll do is i'll catch up with you guys once i've got this hole cleaned out and i'm ready to start and fit the injectors Starting to lose legs, so first things first. I think I'm gonna leave this cap on here. Obviously, you've got to take this one off in the washer off, drop the washers at the wall. It says in the instructions to put a bit of a little bit of copper slip on the shaft just to stop it from sorry, a little bit of grease on the shaft just to stop it from um, seizing in. But I think what we're gonna do is I've got a little bit of copper slip here, nice and thin. We'll just put a little smear of that on, taking care not to coat the nozzle. As it goes, we can't use these yet because there's a plastic seal that sits on the top of there. So I'm gonna have to try and source this plastic seal before we can actually go any further. So this job's a dud for now. We're back. We've got, we've cleaned the holes, 
drop the injector seals in there these are what I've been waiting for here these little black rings so on the top of the old injectors they basically sit in this little groove at the top here the idea is one to place the injectors to stop them wiggling like that but two to in theory stop the water from running down into the injector holes but I don't think it does that very well going off how hard it was to get them out and um, so what we'll do is I'll uh, we'll just start and build the injectors up and we'll get them stuck in see how this goes where to go with this video um, as you can see the injectors are all in and it does run after run sweet as enough it smokes a little bit but I don't know that could possibly be the oil that's running on it um, however I was planned on showing you the van running so you could actually see it working but I got too carried away the weather turned quite quickly um, the next thing I knew I was down here pulling the time belt off so there we have it we're gonna put a pin in it for the day um, as I say, the, the van is running, the van is running really well without them, uh, with the new injectors in. I have, I have ran it up to temperature, like good and for a while, about three quarters of an hour up to temperature. I've ran it up and down the yard five or six times, which by then the engine management like, would have been on previously. It is not on now, so I'm pretty confident that that's that problem fixed. As I say, I've jumped straight into doing the time belt and water pump, because I'll be honest, that was so much on my mind. Because um, it would be my look, I'd pay all this money for the injector, stick the injectors in, it would run sweet as a nut, and then next start up, ping, 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 done, bend valve. So that's, that was my big concern. So, yeah, so I jumped straight into that. And uh, you'll have to tune in for the next episode. We are busy shooting that right now as we speak. Uh, if you tune into the next episode, there's some, uh, I wouldn't say issues, but there's a couple of things in with the timer belt that was, well, yeah, a little bit interesting. So, anyway, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I promise the not, maybe it's not the next video but maybe the video after we will take you out on the road um, um it's now 21st 21st of october um come the first of november i want this van taxed and insured on the road driving physically driving we'll take you along for that uh, that road test and let you see how it goes and uh, touch wood no engine management issues engine management like issues so yeah um Thank you very much for watching if you've stayed this far along uh stay tuned for the more of the van build because we are as i say we are plowing into that for a little while now until we uh, until basically until i get bored and want to do something else and um, but yeah thanks very much for watching we'll see you all the next time cheers <laughs>